Hello and welcome to the bench. Uh, this is my video describing the problem I am having with the DSO 150 shell. Now, let's start by verifying the voltage going to said DSO 150 shell. It is supposed to be a nominal 9 volts. And here we have checking the power supply. We are showing 9.37 volts, well within spec. Connecting power to the shell and turning it on, we can see it boots up fine. The firmware is the latest revision and there is nothing on screen. There is, however, something on screen if we scroll all the way to the top, we have a very solid line at the very top of the screen. For whatever reason, this shows that it is 10 volts, 10.36 volts, when it is at five volts, and changing that, oh, we'll turn off hold, changes the voltage that it is displayed at, but it does not change the location of the line. You can notice that there is nothing attached to the BNC connector, uh, the switch is currently set to ground. This behavior persists regardless of the location of the switch. Turn the unit off. Disconnect power. Now one of the things that I'm supposed to test on step four is, oh, let me get this where it can be seen. Is there anywhere where it can be seen with this crappy lighting? Maybe. Is the voltages that are supposed to be displayed on the board. Here are the pin locations. Here are the locations and the voltages that are supposed to be displayed. I will now check said voltages and you will see that they are wrong. Again, plugging in the previously tested 9.35 volt Checked, and turning on the unit. You can see that the unit is in fact on. We will begin testing voltages. Testing from, come on. Deground to the first check pin of V plus, which is located right there. Produces a voltage of 8.36. We are supposed to see 8.35, so this is correct. The next voltage check is V minus, which is located right here. We are supposed to see minus 7.86 volts, and we see 0 0.632. That is incorrect. AV plus is supposed to be 5 volts. 5.02, that is close enough to correct. AV minus volts is supposed to be minus 5. And it shows minus, or it shows 0 0.846. V1 is supposed to be 0. Clearly V1 is not 0. V2 is supposed to be 0. Clearly V2 is not 0. V3 is supposed to be 0. Also clearly not 0. And V4 is supposed to be about 1.65 volts. V54 is about double that. So this board seems to be faulty. Now, when I was searching the DSO scope site, trying to find out what the issue was, Most of the pro of the suggestions seem to suggest that this was the U5 switch here, an ICL7660, which, I don't know if we can see that on camera, focus, yeah, there is the 7660. 
doesn't say who it's created by, that's okay. Now, if it would focus, you can take a look. Chip appears to be bad. So the problems that it suggested were either this chip here or any of these three capacitors, which are supposed to be soldered in exactly the location that they are soldered. I did not touch this chip. It was pre-soldered when I got the unit. All of these resistors were soldered by myself. These ones, these resistors up here, as well as the ceramic capacitors and the electrolytic capacitors, but they have been verified over and over again to be in the correct location. Solder traces on the back of the board. You can see there are no shorts. This does appear to be either a faulty board or have faulty components on the board. Here is a close up of the main board. If I can get it to focus. There we go. Nope. There we go. You can see the PID as posted in pictures previous. DSO shell. Please excuse the soldery shotting job on the switch, but that should not impact the performance of that. Now also, why I think the issue is to do with this particular board and not with the main board is that it does pass the test. Shown in step one. Connect the main board to power and you'll see static on the screen. So if we have the main board here, not connected to the analog board, and we connect it to our power, turn on our switch, get the lovely little boot message. If it would focus, that'd be great. And we can see if we reset the unit, we have static. And we can even browse and search. Have a lovely little time looking at the static. But because the analog board is broken, there is nothing else I can do. Thank you. Have a good day.